right, so let's get the laser all fired up. So uh, that sucked, but um, that was totally user error. We were making uh, snow day drinks in the middle of that polar vortex, and I didn't even think twice that I definitely had water running through the laser. So um, yeah, big mistake on my part. Um, could have been a $4,000 mistake, I guess, if I had a more expensive laser, but because it was a cheap Chinese laser, uh, it only set me back about $400 and I couldn't help myself. So I got another one. Still got the packing foam on it here, but I thought, you know, what a what better way than to uh, do a Will It Laser video to christen this bad boy and see how well she works. So uh, I cut up one of the uh, drying racks that we had in our kitchen. Sorry, hun. Um, and I figured we could just uh, laser some stuff here on this Saturday. All right, let's get to it. So this bread cat inception definitely goes out to William Osman. Um, he is the granddaddy of all the laser YouTube channels. And if you haven't checked him out, you should definitely do yourself a favor and go subscribe to his channel. So this was really kind of an interesting experiment for me because I usually use about 15 to 20 percent of the laser's power for wood and I figured okay I'm using it on bread or pancakes and the power would probably be much lower but because of the air content and the focal point I actually had to use a much higher power as uh, in between 30 and 35 percent for a lot of these just to have it show up and have a um, good gradient on it. Um, the results I thought were interesting because the the surface was so irregular. Um, the pancake was really um, non-uniform and same with this big tube of sugar cookie. But the results were just inedible. Um, I saw they were lasering food in the Glowforge commercials and I have to say, none of this came out remotely edible. So, um, fun experiment. If you want to try it at home, I would not recommend eating it. So it might be a little cheesy, um, but we really appreciate uh, our top Patreon supporters, Kim and Garrett Make It. They have an awesome YouTube channel as well. You should go check them out. Um, and we cut them out a little cheddar to thank them for theirs.
So this laser definitely gets the do it seal of approval and we're going to mark that with our brand new stickers. If you are interested in a sticker swap, leave us a comment down in the doobly-doo below. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.